Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the fourth day of opening statements in tranche one, phase one at the undercover policing inquiry. Today, we will hear the conclusion of the opening statement from Mr. Menon. I will now hand over to our chairman, Sir John Mitting, to formally start proceedings. Chairman. Thank you. Mr. Menon, would you like to resume your opening statement, please? Is the inquiry going to blame the victims of undercover policing and provide the establishment with yet another get out of jail free card? Or is the inquiry going to hold the state accountable for its unwarranted intrusion into people's lives and for the many miscarriages of justice that it caused? Method, the inquiry will examine and review all documents as the inquiry chairman shall judge appropriate. I'm afraid, sir, that there is concern amongst those who I represent that you sit alone during the evidence, refusing to support calls for a diverse panel to assist you during your determination of the facts. There is concern that the role of racism in undercover policing will remain misunderstood and unexplored. The inquiry will receive such oral and written evidence as the inquiry chairman shall judge appropriate. You should, sir, be open to the possibility that your experiences in life and the beliefs that they've given rise to will shape your judgment, as they will for any person, and that those experiences don't give you the monopoly on the truth. The women would again urge you to seek assistance from those with experience and expertise on issues of sex discrimination, not only at the lessons learned stage, but crucially at the fact finding stage. You should be open to the possibility that others with different life experiences might be able to see things that you simply cannot, and that adding these different perspectives to the mix might help the inquiry to get to the truth. Openness to the possibility is all the more urgent in this inquiry precisely because of the one-sided, untestable accounts that will inevitably be received from the police because of the restriction orders granted to the officers, because of the fact they will be giving evidence in secret. All I can say is I hope to prove you wrong. Were you to accept this possibility and proceed accordingly, the inquiry would unquestionably regain a measure of credibility and the process could begin of restoring the women's trust in it. For those of you in the virtual hearing room, please remember that unless you are the chairman or have been asked to speak by the chairman, please turn off both your camera and microphone as Zoom will pick up on all noises and you will be on the screen.